Welcome back, everyone, to the final episode of 30 Games in 30 Days here on Longmeister Gaming. We're going to send this series off with one of my favorite genres of video games, and that's racing games. We're going to be taking a look at Forza Horizon 5 for the PC. Uh, this title was requested. A buddy of mine, his little boy, loves racing games, and I'd like to take a moment to just dedicate this video to him. So, Isaac, you're out there, buddy. You're watching this video. Just know this video's for you, man. So, with that being said, I hope you all have enjoyed this journey through these last 30 days as much as I have. It has been an absolute blast. I have discovered so many games in my back catalog that I just cannot wait to play more. Hopefully I've turned you guys on to some new titles that maybe you were not aware of that even existed. Anyways, let me know down in the comments below what your favorite game over this 30 day series was, or even your top three. Uh, let me know if there's a game that you'd like to see more of on the channel. Maybe I can do a complete playthrough. But anyways, remember, if you enjoy the content, to please leave a like. Let's go ahead and get started. I will have done a lot of editing in this video. I want to make sure that we see the meat and potatoes of this game, especially since it's the last game in the series. Man, that looks good. Home. The most beautiful place on Earth. Where everyone is welcome. Together, we can explore the wonder and beauty of Mexico. Experience true freedom. Feel alive. Let's go together as friends. just have to let go and enjoy the ride. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this could be insane. Oh wow, it's one of the new Broncos. And drop it like it's hot. I'm not going to edit out any of this music either. If it if it gives a copyright thing, it gives a copyright thing. Good lord, this looks amazing. Look at the plane up there. That is wild. Honestly, this doesn't handle that bad either. I thought <laughs> I thought that this would be fairly loose in the steering. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. That was awesome. I just love these Forza games. They're just so gorgeous. And the gameplay is just, it's spot on, always. Oh boy, oh boy. Whew! I did go into the options and turn off the ability to rewind, so if I screw up, I screw up. There's no rewind ability. Oh my gosh, right through the fence. <laughs> Do another one? Oh my gosh, it's gonna be another one. Oh my gosh, it's one of those new Corvettes. Drop zone approaching. Lovely day for a drive. 
Oh my gosh, that's wild. Man, that car looks sweet. Oh, look at that, like, dust storm up ahead. Man, the steering's real tight. I keep oversteering. It's been a while since I've played a racing game. I love them. I'm not all that great at them. But, man, I love them. It looks like we're gonna like drive right into that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love the water effect. Yeah, the handling on this is tight. Okay! There's no other way around! We've got to go! Oh my gosh, we are going into the storm. Here we go. Oh my gosh, like, look at the dust on the paint, on the windows and stuff. That, that is wild. Man, this has been an incredible intro. I love how it's interactive. Okay, on my mark. Five, four. Oh my gosh. Four now, that's fine. And look at all the flamingos. Uh, this could get a little rough. Oh boy. Thunder in the jungle. Oh my gosh. That looks wicked. It's got a little bit looser steering than the first two two vehicles, but still not bad. Especially since I'm in the, the mud and the grime. Yeah, I'm really interested to try more of this kind of style of racing on this game as well. I tell you, this this is just so much fun. It just I, I can't stop like look I'm probably gonna end up crashing because I'm like looking at everything. There's another buggy up there. I can get him out of my way. smacking into him. Aha, California. Gosh, what's this one gonna be? This is the final drop! The whole festival is waiting! Oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my gosh, man, that car looks wicked. What do you say? Rest of the festival wins? Come on, us! Horizon, this is Mexico. We've already had cars falling out of the sky, but all Man, this thing moves. Let's get around this guy here. 
and you are in for a treat, my friends. Get ready for the biggest Horizon adventure of your life. Oh my gosh, this is wild. Wow. Man, this is wicked awesome. Well, that was day one of our Mexican Fiesta party, people, and we are just getting started. Please welcome our number one superstar to Horizon Mexico. Oh, we got ourselves an achievement. Welcome to Mexico. Like I said, I'm going to probably filter out quite a bit of the little in-between stuff where I'm in the garage and I'm doing stuff with, you know, like looking at the vehicle and stuff. I'm not trying to cut out things that you guys might want to see, but I'm just trying to get into the actual game here. Yes, Kaylee! I have so much to show you. Cerros, desiertos, la jungla, pirámides, la belleza de México. Your pronunciation was muy bien, by the way. Getting better. Listen, if you plan on stopping by the festival at any point, you'll need one of these. No promises, Jefa. I believe this is yours. How was your flight? Not bad. Exit procedure is a bit rough. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Come on. Rami will handle expeditions. I will coordinate festival logistics, which just leaves... Primita! Ven! <laughs> What do you call primita, oh man, that looks like a Supra, one of the new Supras. I saw what you did in the UK. Vamos a hacer de banda. Alejandro, right? If the rumors is about what you can do with an engine are true, I'm sure we will. Oh, speaking of, did we get that delivery? Arrived this morning. Yes. Mira, que chulada. This is quite a collection. You've got taste. I'll get them over to the garage. But which one are you taking out first? Oh my gosh, I get to choose one of the three of these? Wow. Man. Either gotta be the Super or the Corvette, but I'm gonna go with the Corvette. Can't go wrong with the Corvette. That is just such a wicked looking vehicle. Not that I dislike the Supra. So I guess it's gonna start me with these three different vehicles? That's pretty sweet. It's gotta be the Corvette. Oh, we're going to get to personalize our plate. Great. How about a personalized number plate? I'll get the rest of your cars to the garage. Gives me a little more time with them. It's got to say Maestro on the plate, right? Hey, Jerry. Talk about making an entrance. I know you've just arrived, but our first showcase is ready to roll. We just need our superstar. I wish I could get the announcer to say Longmeister. That would be so much fun. Hope you're ready for this. Oh, I am ready. I'll be there soon. What is up, everybody? Scott Tyler here on the one and only Base Arena. The Horizon Festival has Man. landed. And, and I love, too, how this is, even though this is structured and I'm heading to, you know, like basically a, a race or a mission or part of the story you know I, I love how it's like open world like I can go do whatever I want right now you know just ignore oh my gosh it got you pulled right out in front of me yeah this is fantastic this looks gorgeous Ooh, man, that sucked. I don't want to scratch up the paint on this thing. Showcase 
Cave's opponent is planning. He said he had a few surprises in the hold of that cargo cave. All right, here we go. This is Scotty Tyler broadcasting to you live from a plane. This time we are throwing everything we have got at this superstar. But good. Uh, pilot. Oh man, that is wild. Love the jumps. Don't miss any of these checkpoints here. Again, I've got rewind turned off, so I missed a checkpoint. I might circle back around and get it. Man, at the stadium, going wild. I don't know why it says position four of four. Let's see what else you got. Say, I haven't seen it any other racers yet just started unless I'm like racing the plane but that's not four that wouldn't make four that's only two oh my gosh they're gonna drop those other people down oh you gotta be kidding me motorcycles so that's that's only three so that would be I guess the plane counts as one as well oh man that was a sharp turn I wasn't ready for that Wow, like debris flying everywhere. Dad gone. I'm getting sloppy. Man, I can't catch them. They, I feel like they've got a tremendous advantage on these little narrow streets and stuff. Plus, it looks like to me they keep taking like little shortcuts. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch them or not. I'm almost. Oh yeah, I'm like 70% of the way through here now. I wonder what happens if I lose this since it's like the opening thing. I wonder if I have to like do it again. Ooh, I thought I was going to hit that. Man, I'm so close to catching them. Then as soon as I go, oh my gosh, I just about missed that checkpoint. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to catch them or not. I'm running out of time. Oh my gosh. They're flying through the air. I'm not gonna get it. Oh, they hit their they hit a parachute. It looked like I passed them right at the finish line. Oh wow. That well, must be designed to do that, because they, they were smoking me on those bikes. The whole festival is talking about you. If you can meet me down at the festival, we'll talk about what you want to do next. Done. Cheers, Haley. See you soon. We'll get going to the next destination here. Yeah, we'll take some food fighters. Just earned a skill point. In 400 yards, turn right. Man, that looks really foreboding out there. 
had a few requests come in, both in need of a talented driver. Care to take a look? My friend Carmen is looking to photograph some storms in the area, and she's asked for a driver with strong off-road skills. And Alejandra's requested a driver to help her search for a long-lost Vocho. With a bit of time before the next big event, who should we contact first? You sure we can make the schedule work? I can come back for the other one later. Yeah. An old car. I wouldn't be much good at my job otherwise, would I? I'll help Carmen. Well, I want to do that. the storm. I'll let Alejandra know you can help her later. About lost it there. Oh man, I drove right past it. Well, let's just fix that here. Back up. Oh, you're the driver everyone talks about. Haley's asked for pictures the of all the cars at the festival. It's called Horizon Promo, and obviously we want action shots. Fast We're having ones. a Jeep Rubicon in this I one, it looks like. Fast. Let's go. For Horizon Promo, you just need to take a picture of your car, but it'll look better with a little drama. Let's head into the storm and find the perfect location. So we have a 10 minute timer ticking down. In order to get all three stars, we have to be there in... Um, okay, there's a turn off. In, in 820, I guess? Yeah, it's wild. The handling of this vehicle is so much different because of the terrain that I'm on. It's a, it's a lot looser, and of course, you know, Jeep is, is slower than some of the other vehicles I've been driving here. This is, I just love how the handling feels different. Man, I should have like tons of time left to spare here. If I'm looking at that right. Oh boy, I don't wreck here. Over there. Get our photo here real quick. That's what it wants me to take a photo of. Okay. Ooh, this is incredible. The photos look great. Chapter complete. Wasn't really much to that, but whatever. They definitely should be three stars. I mean, there's like tons of time left. Oh, I've got another achievement. Hey, Jerry. We've kicked off a whole bunch of new events, so it's time for you to get out there and show us what a superstar can do. Everything you do earns you accolades. Think of them as mini challenges that cover races, stunts, exploration, everything. If you earn enough accolades, we'll be able to expand and kick off the next chapter of the Horizon Adventure. So, what do you want to do first? Hmm, let's see. I want to do one of these races, just a basic race first. But that's that's probably what I'm going to try to focus on for the rest of this video, is I want to try to get the next segment of the Horizon thing, like, unlocked, where it unlocks a whole racing. new area. I forgot you can change the uh, radio station. I'm probably just going to leave it off for a little while. They need a good hard rock station on this game. You have arrived. Ooh. 
man. I always find it difficult getting getting around a pack of vehicles in these games without just absolutely destroying my vehicle. Man, this game is just so much fun. And really, now, I am playing it very straightforward right now, but I will tell you, when I play games like this, not for the channel... Oh, gosh. Oh, man, I just about missed that. Um, I typically just play freestyle. I just go around the map doing all kinds of just fun, crazy things, trying to, like, gather up skill points and things of that nature, instead of just going from point to point and doing these different races and whatnot. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is very fun, but it's just not typically how I play the Forza games. I'm more into the kind of sort of the freedom of like the free ride where you just go around and just I like ramping off of things and see how much air I can get and whatnot. You know, basically just destroying everything. how amazing it looks. Of course, it's not a huge leap over uh, 4. I thought Forza Horizon 4 looked amazing as well. And 3 really looked good too, to be honest with you. I mean, it's this has just been always been a really good series. Top-notch quality. Yeah, y'all definitely let me know down in the comments what video in this 30 game series has been your favorite. I'm really curious to find out. Like, list your, your top three or something if you like, even. It, this has just been such an awesome, awesome playlist. This, this has been one of, one of my most favorite things I've done since I've launched my channel. Um, I just really, this has just been a blast. I know I'm a broken record and I go on about it, but it's just... I don't know, it's kind of sort of like reinvigorated my passion for doing these videos and stuff. I've always enjoyed doing this YouTube stuff, but like this has really reignited it for me. It's it's like, I, I just can't wait. I, I'm trying to decide on what uh, game playthrough I'm going to do for the channel next. I've got several in, in mind. You'll find all the latest Horizon events on your map. Go explore. Have fun. Yeah, talking about those games again. I I don't know. I can do a maybe a game out of this uh, playlist next. I'm also thinking about playing possibly the Quarry. I was a huge fan of Until Dawn. And I am really excited to play that. I'm just... Ch actually, I'm chomping at the bit to play that one. Uh, I really want to play that. Thinking about playing uh, Horizon Forbidden West on the channel. Uh, gosh, I don't know. There's, there's so many really good games that I'm thinking about playing. And then, again, the majority of these titles I've played during this 30-game series are squarely in the crosshairs now as well. Also, my Steam Deck arrived roundabout. today, Take the first and exit. I'm very, very excited about that. So I may do may do an unboxing video, may show off a little bit of the actual Steam Deck. I don't know. I know you guys have plenty of options to uh, look at this this kind of content, so I do appreciate your time on here. So I may put something like that on the channel. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments also on that if you'd like to see the Steam Deck on the channel. Man, you could just get lost, you get yourself a good off-road vehicle on here, 
and just get lost going through like all the little forested areas and stuff. In the Bronco we go. be honest with you the Bronco handles a lot better than I thought it was going to let's go plowing through a bunch of trash but yeah playing a game like this with a racing wheel and getting like a simulation rig set up like I want to do that I am I'm am strongly considering I've got the wheel and I've got the shifter, and I, I forget what model number it is that I have for the PS5 and PC, but it's one of the Thrustmaster series, and it's a really nice one. It's rated really well, uh, but let me know down in the comments if you've, you know, tried any of the different racing wheels and what your experience has been. Like, does it, you know, really add to, like, that simulation when you're driving? I mean, I can't imagine playing this or playing, like, um... I don't know, the newest Gran Turismo or something perhaps with it. I just think it would be a lot of fun. I do have all the settings maxed on my PC for this. Again, just like with Metro Exodus, I'll just note that the only thing I do not have turned on is HDR, just for the simple fact that it does take a significant amount of additional time to render the videos, and I wanted to stay on point and not miss any of the videos in the series. Uh, you know, trying to get them out turned out one per day. It's just, uh, it's been a challenge over these 30 days uh, with my work schedule and having to go away and you know do things for, you know different accounts and whatnot it's it's been a challenge to get these things turned out and I'm just really really thankful that it all worked out because this this has just been so much fun but yeah I can imagine I heard that HDR is done really really well in this game too so again this will be another one that I want to play basically when I'm not recording just to see what it looks like with the HDR turned on in addition to the max settings. And that Metro Exodus game looked phenomenal. I was just blown away by how awesome that looked. And the enhanced version for PC, I just, I mean, I, I'm sure that the PS5 and Xbox Series X versions look awesome too. I love how it's just got like the dirt all over the tires and like on the side and stuff. Sweet, we got to level up. Let's see here. Danger sign. Huh. Oh, wait a minute. This might be one of those things where you get to, like, ramp through the air or whatever. Those are always fun. I love stuff like that. I don't know about doing it in this vehicle, but we'll give it a try, I think. I like to see... Oh, it's just straight down this stretch here. 
I don't know if we'll be able to do it in this vehicle. The top speed in this is going to be pretty limited compared to, like, maybe that Corvette that I have. I mean, toggle the roof on and off? Oh, that's wild. Yeah, that is so cool. Nice. Alright, let's see, let's see what we can do here. Probably should back up, but I'm just going to go ahead and take it from here. Let's see what we got. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I always love these kind of things. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can we get 850? Well, we at least got two out of three stars, but I'll, I'll have to have a much faster vehicle to get all of it. Thanks, Haley. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Yeah, there's no way I'll be able to get three stars with the Bronco, but that's okay. I can always change up to a different vehicle and come back sometime and do it. Again, that's the beauty of this. I mean, you can do these different challenges however you like, whenever you like. We got... Oh, there's a speed trap. I like the speed trap ones, too. Those are fun. Mulege? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Probably just butchered it. Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Nothing like coming out of looking at the map and slamming in the back of somebody's truck there. It is safe to do so. Wow, look at that. That is just wild looking. All right. Got another one. Ride and seek. Oh, achievement progress. Okay, I see. I thought I was getting like a bunch of achievements, so not so fast. Let's see here. Ooh, man. Whoa. Okay, it kind of sort of rewards you for those near misses and stuff. I just want to like go straight up that hill and just ramp right, right off the top of that hill. I like this car. It handles pretty well for this off-road stuff. Got some wet pavement here too. I just, man, it just looks incredible.
man. I don't know how that one didn't count against me. I thought I was outside of it there. Pretty, it must be pretty lenient on that. Sometimes I do like playing in the different views as well, like when it shows you inside the car and stuff, but I thought for this video I would just keep it on this particular view just to kind of sort of show off the car models. So, instead of me just looking out of the windshield. even around me and I got sloppy and hit a pole. It's not good. It's pretty terrible. see like the haze in the sky out in the distance. Man, it's just nuts. You have to let me know what your favorite overall racing game is for the current gen consoles or even even retro, even like just all time in general. I'd say my all-time favorite racing game from years and years and years back probably would be maybe the original Need for Speed Hot Pursuit just because it was just so much fun at the time. I remember that just vividly. I loved that game. And the second one, too. Back in the Corvette here and try out a speed trap. Wow. don't know what the top speed of this vehicle is. I didn't bother to, to even look at any of the stats or anything, but hopefully we can get at least two out of three of the stars. Oh, wow. Hey, Jerry. Great work out there. We're just about ready for a Horizon adventure, and we want you on the project. What is this? Fast travel. This is a fast travel goal. Smash them to get a discount on fast travel. Smash them all, and Horizon will cover all your expenses. I'll have to go back here and try that again. I didn't have a chance to get my speed built all the way up. Let's see. Yeah, 205. I don't know that this car, without any kind of tuning, I don't know that this car can do that. Hopefully we can at least get two out of the three stars here. I know I haven't showed any of that off, but like I said, I'm trying to keep all the garage stuff out of the video, just keeping the video straightforward on the actual racing portion.
We'll go back down here and turn around and see if we can hit that camera and at least get the second star. I don't know. It looks like... I don't know. It's probably going to top off, top out maybe 160. I, I don't know. 165. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's going to go much more than that. Not without any kind of upgrades. Let's see what we got. We're just barely gonna hit 150. Phew, we just did get it. Haley called to say we're ready to expand. Meet me, Muleke. It's time for our first adventure and another secret we've been working on. Called. Oh, that. Let's see. Not only did I get that, but I think. I think I just unlocked the new. Uh, section of the game. I think. I think that's what I'm getting ready to go do. Wait. Be there soon, Remy. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Yeah, I think we're going to go here and we'll see what this is, but I think we're getting ready to unlock a new segment of the game, which I like that too, opening up all the game, which again, I mean, even in the little area that, well, little, even the area it starts you in, you could play for hours and hours and hours and not run out of stuff to do. Turn right. In 100 yards, turn right. I'm just looking around. I like see so many like little knolls and hills and stuff that I just imagine ramping the vehicle off into the air. Just about there. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I gotta get this. Is that XP? Oh yeah. Discovering already, are you? That was an XP board. The Horizon team have hidden them all over Mexico. There's plenty more to be discovered if you're feeling adventurous. Another achievement. There's an expression in Espanol you may have heard. But this is more than just my house is your house, my friend. This is about home and family. Horizon and Mexico are family. Welcome to your new home. Oh wow, now it's just actually showing the title of the game like the game is just starting. This is it. We're ready Sweet. for the next stage of the Horizon adventure. Ramiro has marked out potential outposts to expand to and new event types to unlock. The choice is yours. Where shall we go first? Oh wow. I bet I only get I'm only going to get to pick one. Well, I've got this Mexico one already unlocked. I want Apex road racing, dirt racing, cross country racing. Uh, it doesn't look like the rush ones. I can unlock those. Hmm. Horizon Baja, eh? Perfect location for the cross-country racing Maha outpost. Expedition. That sounds fun. Let's check it out and see here. Perfecto. You could lose yourself for years in the Baja. Another achievement. You, right? Be there soon. Turn around. <laughs> this is the way. So. <laughs> is that like Mandalorian or something? Let's see here. Here we go. Let's go check this out and see. 2.7. Whoa! Whew, that was cool. Oh man, somebody looked like they had had a little accident there. I love how, too, a lot of the other vehicles on the road in this game, is just like, you know, with the previous games in this, in this series, is... You know, you have the drivatars of other people online. I mean, I don't don't think I have that turned on in this version here. I think those are just AI-controlled uh, drivatars or whatever they call them. But it's cool how you can see all that. Let's see, let's get it. Let's let's keep on trucking here. I mean, this is a game that you could easily get lost in for hours. Oh, it's a rainy day outside, you're just 
turn Forza Horizon 5 on and just hit the ground running, just get lost in it. It'd be a blast too, racing like with your friends. Like say, okay, we're going to start at this point and let's set a point on the map and let's see who can get there the quickest. That would just be, that'd be a lot of fun. In 400 yards, you will arrive at your destination. Right. Rabbi, I have a vehicle, but no guide. Small change of plans, my friend. Tell me, have you ever seen an active volcano up close? I'll tell you, I'm, at I'm the top of the mountain. You don't want to miss this. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go off road. I think I'm just gonna like. I'm tired of like. Seriously, like I have been doing nothing but roads the whole way. I think I'm gonna like blast, maybe blast up the side of this. Just do what I want. My friend, there is a lot of smoke coming out of this volcano. You might want to get up here front though. Just bust through all these cactus and everything. I mean every once in a while I just gotta get this kind of stuff out of my system. I just gotta like literally just blast up the side of something. Yeah, I picked up the road again, though. Maybe I should. I don't know. It just <laughs> I just go straight up the side. Nothing to worry about. Fine. Just remember we have an outpost to set up. Yeah. I'm not quite sure exactly because it keeps kind of sort of changing the destination, though. Maybe I'll just keep keep on this road here. Well, close to the road, anyways. <laughs> when you reach the top, we should do our tests and then get out of here, my friend. I just love how the road gets, or the not the road, the vehicle gets like dustier and dustier. Oh, chopper! <laughs> we have a chopper. Man, I like get up the top of this thing, just ramp Copy right off the top all the way down. Copy that. Feel free to turn on the air conditioning. <laughs> Here we go. You made it! Yeah, Rachel. I spoke to Haley and they say we have some time. In fact, there are some things she wants us to do up here. More science, you know? Let's see what this board is over here. I think I'm going to pick up whatever this board is, and I think I'm probably going to just about call it an episode. Once again, this has been the 30 Games and 30 Days series, the final day of the series. Thank you so much for coming along on this adventure with me. This has just been a wonderful experience. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. It means the absolute world to me. Let me know down in the comments, you know, what's your favorite racing game or have you used a racing wheel before? And if so, did you like it? Did it add to the immersion? What game in this series was your favorite or what was like maybe your top three favorite? Or what's a game that you just really didn't care for in the series? What's a game you'd like to see me play from this series and do a full playthrough of? Just let me know down below. 
And again, if you enjoyed this content, please make sure to try to leave a like. It does help the channel out. And I really appreciate you guys. And until the next one, Longmeister out. Peace.